Ren. What is this? Oh, um, a friend of mine did that. It's based on the Victor Hugo quote. To love another person is to see the face of God. No, I wonder when, when we lose things, is that like practice? You know, like a step-by-step -step process from when we're kids to when we get old? You know, starting with the loss of a toy truck to your dog running away to a devastating breakup to a loved one dying. It's almost like we're in training from the time we're born. It's an interesting theory. Interesting theory to visit. I wouldn't want to live there. Hello?
nice PJs. Who are you? What am I doing here? What? That's what I said. Answer me. Did you bring me here? Prove it. Uh, I don't think I can. Well, if you like breathing, you better give it a try. Look, 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 look. Okay, okay. Look, I, I, I just woke up. Okay. Uh -huh. Upstairs, I promise. Oh, you promise? If I had no idea you had that kind of hard evidence, did you also cross your heart and hope to die? Uh, well, how do I know you didn't bring me here? You don't, but I didn't. Well, you prove it. No, you, you don't tell me to prove it. I tell you, you to prove it. To prove it. No, it, it doesn't count. Well, if you don't have to prove it, why do I have to prove because it? Because I have the weapon. It's a face. It's a bludgeon. <sighs> Look, okay. Don't you think... Shut up. We... I'm asking the questions. Get up. That's not a question. I'm Eli. We're in. Thanks. No sweat. What's your problem? I think you broke my pinky. Where's my watch? Probably with my phone. Yours too? Hey, give me your lighter. Doesn't work. Give me your lighter. No fluid. Lighter with no fluid, that's good thinking. Mm -hmm. It's a barn. Either one of you ever been here before? I don't know. Seen one barn, you've seen them all, right? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't go to barn school. Anyway, enjoy your stay. What did I do? Are you okay? Am I? What do you want from me? Nothing. What did I do? I don't really know what you're looking for with that. Am I dead? What? Is this, you know, glory? Eternal damnation. Look, I'm not touching, okay? Just relax a minute. Oh, no, I am dead, huh? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead, all right. Am I? You will be if you don't shut up. I'm not supposed to be here. Hey, calm down. We don't even know where here is. But you're not dead. Look around, man. It's just a barn. Yeah, not a grave. Okay. PTL. I'm Lane. Fantastic. You got a light? It's a disgusting habit. I'm Eli. This is Ren. Like that cartoon cat? It was a dog, actually. But I was here first, so he'd be like me. I'm pretty sure it was the cat. Absolutely sure it was a dog. It was the little one, right? The cat. It was the little one, but the little one was the dog. 
Cats are smaller than dogs. That's the joke, dude. Little dog, big cat. Brother, I don't even know your name. There is no need for you to yell at me right now. Just call me brother. Besides, I didn't watch the show anyway. It was a bit... What's the word? Um, awesome? Juvenile and disgusting. That's two words. Oh, well, this conversation is absolutely riveting. But unfortunately, I have to be anywhere but here. Nope, nope. You insist on coming, you walk where I can see you. I don't trust any of you. Come on. Especially you, Lance. Lame. Lame? Any idea how we got here? Nope. The Force. I can't even remember what I was doing before. Maybe we've been drugged. Maybe. My memory is really foggy. Yeah, mine too. How's your memory? Oh, I remember now. It was all a dream. And you were there. And you. And you were there too, Scarecrow. Is he always like this? Only on days I've been brought to a barn against my will and had my brain fogged. I think so. Why would someone drug us? How about we don't stick around long enough to find out? All in favor say aye. Aye, aye, aye. Hold on. Not great. He's dead. No pulse. Love. Oh. <laughs> You're not dead. Uh, no. How are you? As good as ever. <laughs> That guy is... You're telling me. There's another guy back here. A fantastic. Does he have a light? I'm Lane. This is Ren. Like the cat. The dog. I'm Eli. Clark. He sounds upset. We all are. Okay. This whole thing, it's unsettling. None of it's right. Our memories are a little foggy. Yeah. We don't know who brought us here. <laughs> they took our phones and our watches, so there's no telling how long we've been out. They? Yeah, you know, whoever brought us here. Interesting. Out? Well, is it locked? No. It just won't let me open it. The door won't let you open it. Uh, you want to give it a go, smart guy? Please, be my guest. Well, I'm smart enough to realize that whoever brought us here wouldn't just let us wander out the front door. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, brilliant deduction murder, she wrote. You want to give me a hand? Maybe you're doing it wrong? Maybe. This is my first door. I'm only trying to help. <laughs> See? It's not locked. It's like someone's holding them shut. Or something. You got a light? <clears throat> Wait. Well, let's try it together, see if we can move what's blocking it. Oh, 
Sure. actually seeing space no stars nothing how can there be nothing does that make us nowhere did everything just disappear from here maybe both maybe neither we are here so it has to be here is there an out there out there anymore and then my head exploded. Maybe it's just really dark. Hey, Lance. Lane. Yeah. Why don't you step out there, see if it's just really dark? I bet that doesn't happen. What about the whole uh, Oxum's razor thing? You know, test the easy stuff or something? Occam's razor. Intia non sut motor plicanda, greater necessitatum. It's Latin. It means all things being equal, the simplest solution is the best. Yeah. Test the easy stuff. It's your theory, you test it. Do I look like an oxum? Occam. Can we close the door? It just disappeared. Remarkable. Please, please close the door. Maybe it's only inanimate objects that disappear. Hey, you, uh, Lance, Laney. Lane. Yeah. Step out there. No. You don't look so good. Guys, the door? You want us to sit Excuse me. Can we close the door? Mr. Dubbin, how did this fear manifest itself? Manifest itself? Um, <clears throat> I had a, I guess it was an anxiety attack. And this happened while you were watching cartoons? I don't watch cartoons. I saw a cartoon. It was just on. I wasn't watching it. Do you remember what the cartoon was? I can tell you what was happening in the cartoon. Sure. All right. This talking chipmunk or mouse or whatever got an anvil dropped on his head. Just squashed him into the ground, flattened him like a pancake. And I remember thinking, hey, there's no blood. And then thinking, of course, there's no blood, you moron. It's a cartoon for kids. <sighs> he just peeled himself off the ground, went over to a helium tank and inflated himself. Sounds like he turned out OK. <sighs> yeah, well, I wasn't concerned for him. Oh, I've seen that kind of thing before when I was a kid, but, you know, this time it, it really got me thinking.
what if someone dropped an anvil on my head? It would be blood. PTL. He's awake! Passed down. Got that. <clears throat> How long? Not long. Glad to see you're okay. Me too, brother. So do you think everything else just disappeared like the vase? <clears throat> I hope not. My wife. Me too. What about you? No. So maybe it was a terrorist attack or natural disaster or something. Unnatural. Don't you think we should stick together? Unnatural. Yeah, unnatural. Like there's nothing natural about it. Says who? Me. Guys, let's let's try to. How long was I out? What, how'd you come to that conclusion so quick? Isn't it obvious? Explain how this in any way resembles a natural occurrence. Well, I don't know. I mean, we don't know anything. We could be in a, a black hole or a, a dimensional thing. Listen, man, I would be inclined to agree with you if everything was gone. But we're still here, floating around in a barn like we're characters in a Roald Dahl novel. There isn't anything right or natural about it. Well, isn't there, a, isn't there a first time for everything? No. Everything starts somewhere. Not everything. There's no first time for everything. Uh, there's no first time for a square circle. Paradoxes don't exist, and this is a paradox. There is nothing, yet here we are. But if there was a square circle, there would have to be a first one. But a precedent would have to be set. I mean, people used to think that space travel was impossible. Or, or... Those were simply because humans lacked ability. Those type of things, space travel, uh, open heart surgery, DNA testing, they all adhere to natural and scientific law. Seriously, guys? It doesn't matter if it's a square circle or a dry liquid. There's no precedent for the impossible. God, the Bible is not for that. I don't know if you've noticed it or not, but we're setting the precedent for the impossible right now. Guys. Uh, just stop a second. Maybe it's not nothing. Maybe black is the absence of color. Is that the case or is it white? You scribble all the colors together, you're not going to get white, you're going to get black. So black could be everything. Color is like reflecting. Color can't reflect in darkness. Something can't exist in nothing. We shouldn't be here. It's unnatural. But we are. So where does that leave us? We exist. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. Where it leaves us is in the hands of God. The one that makes the impossible possible. And the pious insufferable. Hey, you guys want to listen to Flanders here? Start burning incense, saying Hail Marys, that's your prerogative. But I don't think we're there yet. Well, well what about past the nothing? What about past it? Maybe, maybe everything's still out there past it. Shouldn't we be able to see it? If there's nothing, it can't obscure our vision. I know what I see. It's nothing. And it's endless. What? It's just interesting. What? It doesn't matter, does it? Where we are or if everything else still exists. Paradoxes, natural law, color theory. None of it matters. It doesn't change the situation. It does change the situation. You don't see that? The fact that we're talking about it proves it. Can we please shut the door?
Now what? If we can just figure out what we were doing before... That horse is dead, dude. <laughs> what does that mean? What do you think? We can figure out what this place is, examine what we can see and touch. Then maybe we can figure out how we got here, unless you have a problem with that. Oh, no. I think that's a good idea. It's better than standing around. You just gonna sit there? I don't want to get in your way. Thought we all agreed we were gonna stick together. Maybe this is our own faults. Do you think we did this? Not me. I didn't touch anything. All of us. The world. How? Huh? David Copperfield pull a rabbit out of his hat and nullified existence? Not David Copperfield. God. You got a better shot with David Copperfield. He does know his way around a supermodel. Besides, not every shirt has a label. I don't know what that means, but maybe it's because of that, what you just said, that people put more faith in David Copperfield than they do God. That people believe that, I don't mean it's tacky, that the cross is just an ornament for their cleavage. Maybe it's a lack of faith. You think the world was punished? Like Armageddon? Well, I hope not, but maybe. Well, if there was a God, that kind of cruelty would definitely fit his M.O. It wouldn't be cruel. Hey, world! How are you? I know I never gave you much to prove I was real, but you had Tammy Faye and the Crusades, so you should have sussed it out. Time for some old-timey smiting. Pazow! What does that make us, the chosen ones? I've been saved and sanctified since I was eight years old. I'm certainly not wicked. Neither is my wife, but where is she? Yeah, that little theory really doesn't explain why I'm still around. All right, I think we're getting off the rails here. Let's take stock of what we know, what we can see. When a barn. Well, there are five of us, all men. There's nothing, nothing outside. But we're still here. I want to go home. Wow. What? What? Wow, what? Oh, nothing. Just amazed at how the mind works. Yeah, I find the human mind fascinating too, but I have a feeling that's not what you mean. You don't want to hear what I think. I do. Okay. How shall I put this? You're taking a lot for granted. Like what? Well, roughly everything. You say there are five of us. All men in a barn, nothing outside. And that we are all here. The only thing that's been said that can be taken at face value is that Lane wants to go home. Unless he's lying. I'm not. I totally want to go home. And if he's lying about that? I'm really not. And that? Seriously, why would I are lie you, about... Are you some sort of crazy? No. I'm no sort of crazy. I mean, how can you know about anything? For instance, are you absolutely sure there are five of us? Have you checked the entire barn? Or for that matter, are all of us us? What? You say we're all men. Is us? Missing? You are full on out of your mind. You think one of us is a girl? Uh -huh. 
not man doesn't have to mean the opposite woman. For example, what makes a man? His age, his gender? Are you born a man or do you become one through trials? That's what many cultures hold to anyway. And furthermore, and perhaps more importantly, what constitutes us? What's your point? He's saying we can't take anything for granted. Right? That's all. It sounds different when he says it. Who are you? I'm Clark. Yeah, I got that. What do you know? I think we just covered the fact that you can't know anything. Okay, enough with the Zen guru act. What do you know? I know that when you're faced with something you can't comprehend, you must be willing to accept anything as possible. Did you bring me here? Hey, answer me. Did you bring me here? Yeah, listen, Boxcar Will, you just made suspect number one. I'm watching you. We, whenever we are faced with something we can't comprehend, you said you, but you're here too. exactly what it does. And I know exactly what my chances are. As soon as the words came out of his mouth, I knew. these prayers were answered? How many of them? These people, children, came here hopeless, pleaded and begged and weren't answered. How many were unheard? I can't believe that you're there. I can't believe any kind of loving deity could see that book and not 
And if you are there, shame on you. Because you never answered any of my prayers. Not one. Maybe we are dead. You said this was just a barn. Besides, it doesn't seem much like heaven. Or hell. Maybe it is anyway. You don't believe in God, but you believe in hell. Not yours. Oh, that doesn't even make a little bit of sense. When you die, it's over. There's no more you. You cease to exist. You become nothing. Can you imagine being out there in that darkness forever? If that's not hell, You then... can't gnash your teeth if you don't exist. And is it really hell if you can't gnash your teeth? I don't think that's funny. You obviously aren't my target audience. Brother, what you describe is not hell. That's a relief. You don't get to escape the journey. Relief? You lose everyone you ever loved, forever. It's the end of everything, and there's no way to escape it. And it renders everything meaningless. And we all go through our lives knowing it's going to happen to us, but not really believing it until one day. Aren't you just a little ray of sunshine? Hey, he's doing it again. Fantastic. Grab him. Just relax. Give him some rim. Rim. Look at me. Rim. You're not helping. Stay help with me. Just try to relax. Come on, relax. I'm fine. I'm fine. What's that all about? It, it's my fault. It's what I said. Yeah, a bit sensitive, aren't you? Listen, I'm sorry about. I wasn't trying to freak you out. I was just stating the facts. People have experiences. People experience unexplainable things all the time. Near-death experiences? The afterlife. Where people see Jesus, an angel, or their grandpa? Well, yeah. Ten percent. What? Ten percent. That's the percentage of people who have a near-death experience and report seeing lights or angels or relatives. You know what the rest see? Darkness. Nothing. What about miracles? What miracles? All of them. Like when God heals people, or when he gets people off drugs, or medical miracles. They happen. Doctors say Chance. they happen. Coincidence. Freak occurrences. You can't prove that they were God. Have you seen God do any of them? What about this? You think this is evidence of God? Before? You said it was unnatural. Maybe it's supernatural. Unnatural. Supernatural. Semantics. It doesn't prove anything. Nothing does. Are you crazy? There's proof of God everywhere. In, in trees, nature, rainbows, the way the sun heats up the planet, the complexity of the circulatory system, love. The soothing music of Pat Boone, bunnies, Branson, Missouri, the, the fit of a good Easter bonnet. It proves order. It proves complexity. That's all. You're right. I can't prove it. The entire basis of God is faith in something. And let's be honest. Something that's pretty out there.
something that's easier to disbelieve on certain levels. I think maybe it's that way so we don't take it for granted. He vanished. In thin air. For if God's nothing interesting. Shut up. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. If you think I wanted to go home before. Just relax. Eli. He really just... What's going on? I could guess where he is. black and whites um not just the greens uh, menthol yeah rather die of natural causes you know you could just buy some before you came in well not today i'm already in besides if i did that what would we talk about there's always the weather well i don't care what the weather's like outside as long as it's summertime in my glass to cash out, bud. Nope. <sighs> More bourbon. Neat. The pretty please. Sprinkles on it. Not in it. <clears throat> Keys, friend. Come on, uh, I get the keys, you get the bottle. Here, trade. Salute. You got any matches? Sorry, fresh out. Jeez, no good smokes, no matches? Do you actually keep anything stocked in this dive, sweetie? The alcohol. Cute, right? Well, I mean, if you were a girl. Yeah, as a wedding ring has a certain charm to it. D. I'm just gonna bum smoke. Nice. Uh, I'm just looking for a smoke. Those aren't menthol, are they? I'm Denise. Sam? You can call me Bud. All right. So you want to be my Bud, Bud? All the time, but some of the time, right? Yeah, sometimes. What does it feel like, at least tonight? Maybe. <laughs> What's up with that guy? Uh, that's sweetie. 
He thinks you may be trouble, but he thinks that about everyone. I don't know. He may be right about you, though. Maybe. You know, I think we make a good team, bud. Because you got the chocolate, and I got the peanut butter. Right. What do you say we get out of here? Hey, sweetie. Yeah, buddy. I, uh... Oh, this stuff. Where are my keys, will you? I'll be back for it later. Bye, sweetie. hard to tell. Do you do that a lot? You know, pass out? I pass out plenty. You ever try praying? Pass out's just more dramatic. Praying that you won't pass out. He vanished into thin air. It caught me a little off guard. There's always time to pray. I need my lighter. You doing okay? Yes. That's great for you. You shouldn't disregard what I say. On an average day, how many times you lose consciousness? Wouldn't call this an average day. Should probably see somebody about that. I do. I did. Do you have any idea how stupid it is to have a lighter that doesn't light? It's my lighter. Doesn't make any sense, man. Well, it makes sense to me, and it's my lighter. Well, I'm going to hold on to it, see if I can't find some fluid. I'll tell you what. Why don't you give it back to me, and if you find some fluid, I'll let you borrow it. I tell you what, why don't you shut up, and if I want to hear something annoying, I'll just smack my lips together like this. I shouldn't even have to... Are you... Are you... Are you a child? Give me back my lighter! No! Give me the... No! Give me the, give me the lighter! Why would you have a lighter with no fluid? Why? Why would you care? It's irresponsible, man. Irresponsible. Irresponsible. It's a lighter, not a puppy. You can get rid of the fluid, but if you want to smoke, all you have to do is bum a light. But I don't want to smoke. Sometimes you still bum a light. Anyone want to repent? I am not ashamed of the gospel, and I want to give you guys an opportunity to hear about God's grace before he smites you or something. I told you to shut up about that. Is that what you think happened to Eli? Ren, I know it's not my place to judge, but I'm pretty sure your panic attacks are in direct relation to your shaky faith in God. No. I mean, you didn't think to pray, and you also said that you couldn't prove that God exists, so... Want a PTL? Okay, cut that. What is that? Praise the Lord. Can't you just say, praise the Lord? All right, what? What's your deal? Deal? 
Is he creeping anyone else out? Yep. My intention isn't to creep anyone out. Well, what is your intention? Ask me that later. Who are you? I'm Clark. Yeah. I know who you are. Now, who are you? Ask me that question later. How come every time I look at you, you're staring at me? Yeah, I'm not comfortable with that. Uh, I want to ask you this once. And only once. Do you know why we're here? Yes. <clears throat> you know why we're here? What? I knew it. Then why? Ask me that question later. I'm asking now. Then I'll answer that later. That's unacceptable. Did you bring us here? No. Okay. Who did? Huh? Uh, do you know who did? Yes. Is it someone we know? What about Eli? Hey, wh what's up with outside? All those questions and their answers don't matter yet. How do we know you are who you say you are? He doesn't say he's anyone. Except Clark. Well, how do we know you know what you say you know? If you want my advice, you should keep unpacking. That's it? Yes. If you want my advice, you better sleep with one eye open and wear a cup. I'm not thirsty. Well, that's good, because we can't exactly make a run to the 7-Eleven. I'm not hungry either. Well, what's your point? I don't have to urinate. Congratulations. Seriously, are either one of you hungry or thirsty or have to go number one or number anything? No. No, why? Because I always have to do at least one of those. It's weird, right? Or just a coincidence. After everything you've witnessed, you can't admit that there's something weird about you this? You know what? After everything I've seen, I think the bar for weird has been raised a little bit. I'm so tired of you. I'm back at you, sister. Lord, please grant me the patience. Hey, besides, I do need that. something. I need a light. You don't need that. Not to live. What about air? We're, we're breathing air. Taking too much for granted again. Breathing? Yes. No, I'm not taking my breathing for granted. Maybe you didn't notice my periodic hyperventilating? I noticed. I am so tired of all of this. Oh, what? You don't like our little setup here? What a surprise. Not just our setup. It's the waiting for whatever is supposed to happen next. What, what, watching, uh, what's his face? Uh, Eli. Yeah, watching Eli vanish, that wasn't enough uh, excitement for you? You're so blind. Oh, boy, here it comes. Brother, I don't mean any offense. Yes, you do, but I don't care. I've been thinking, and this place has to be the judgment of, no offense, the wicked. And you and I aren't equally yoked, so... So, so you don't think this is your judgment? So we're on the same page. Oh, brother, we aren't even in the same book. I don't... Think Whatever. This... God does not need your approval to go on... Let, let me ask you something. Does your wife actually like you, or do you drive her insane, too? Don't do that. No, I just want to know. Do you guys go out and rant in the name of the Lord together, or... It's, it's like date night, right? Dinner, movie, condemn some strangers to hell. Good times, good times. Hey. Oh, no, 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 dude. She's she's dead, isn't she? Hey. Oh, she's dead. And up there in her own personal heaven. No you. Yeah, she's up there in a the cloud, strumming her heart, singing PTL, PTL. No more hobby. PTL. Shut up! Yeah, that's right. Better run. What? You think he's weak? Yeah, I know he is. If you know something, why are you helping him? He doesn't know anything. I know Lane isn't the only one who's weak. What? 
just something to think about. It's crazier than Lane. Probably thinks space aliens put us here. I don't think that. We're barely hanging on. You aren't even moved. I am moved. That's right. You are crazy. Listen, dude. What's going on, Ken? What is this about? Is she here? You shouldn't be here. Is she? Maggie. Hey. Maggie, hey, are you here? Listen to me. She's my wife. She's my sister. Why is she here? What is this about? Lane. Ken. Finally. I've been calling. You weren't at church today. What is this about? You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. We're going to do a skit for the neighbors. Hey, Justin. Hey. Okay, Smarty, enough reading. Let's go watch TV. My nephew hates me now, too. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. And this? I come here in them? Maggie, what's going on? Makes me hate you even more when you act like this. You have got to talk to me. How am I acting? You're so committed to what you say. It's like you make yourself believe the lie. Maggie, what lie? You're so good. It makes me want to believe you, too. That's why I wrote the letter, so I wouldn't get sucked into this. Yeah, the letter. Why did you leave? Why is this how I find out? What is this about? You know what this is about. Would you please talk to me as if I didn't know what was going on? Because I don't. I know you slept with some girl. Here comes the show. Show? What? Who do you think that I... It's too ridiculous to even say, let alone actually do. You're making me sick. You're not the only one that feels sick right now. Look, this whole thing... It's preposterous. If we could just go home and talk about this like normal people, I'm sure that we can figure I out. I got a call. That's it? I'm in this situation right now because you got a call? Do you have anything more definitive or are you sticking with that? Don't do this. Don't do what? Defend myself? Who called you? It's not important. That is hands down the most important thing right now. Was she just a way to hurt me? Don't do that. You look, you look at me and you listen to me. Whoever called you, for whatever reason, listen, I have, I have not once, ever, done anything so disrespectful to you. Whoever it was that, that called for whatever reason, maybe they're attacking me, or they're attacking us. But you've got to believe your own husband over a voice over the phone. I've thought about it. Maggie, I've never acted on it. I know if I did something like that, it would absolutely destroy us. Do you think I'm capable of something like that? Maybe this is just a mix-up. Maggie. 
I need you to leave me alone. Maggie! There's some, some naked ladies. Stay away from me. Some naked ladies. Hey, I know this can be a confusing time in a young man's life. It's not that. It's not even pictures. It's just, it's just old mail. Yeah. What does it say? It's just credit card offers and stuff. Junk mail. Junk. Like everything else in here. Oh, it's getting tough, isn't it? What? Oh, believing there really is a reason for all this. Nope. There has to be a reason. No, there doesn't. There has to be taxes. There has to be tartar control toothpaste that four out of five dentists recommend, but there does not have to be a reason for anything. Things just happen. It's a comforting thought. Yeah, I know, huh? Without reason, there's no purpose. Without purpose, there's no structure. Without structure, there's no... Blah, 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 blah. Why don't you skip to the end of the cycle where without something, there's nothing. I don't buy it. Well, that doesn't mean it's not being sold. You keep saying stuff like that, and I have no idea what it means. Besides, there is something bigger than all of this. Yeah? God? Yeah. God. Where? You've seen outside, it's empty. And if there was a God, he probably shouldn't put scared the crap out of the humans at the top of his to-do list. Maybe he isn't supposed to be scary. Yeah, well, I wonder if it's not terrifying. Yeah, I hate to break this to you, but as hard as you try to squeeze the incidents of your life into some, uh, some package of some master plan, right? As sooner or later, that package is going to end up full, and you're going to wind up holding a bunch of nonsense that doesn't add up to a thing. Everything happens for a reason. We just don't always get to know the reason. <laughs> wow. Onward, Christian soldiers. Do you even do you even hear yourself anymore? Or have you said that so many times you don't even know what it means? Why don't you go down to a foster home sometime, right? And you try to convince those kids that everything that ever happened to them happened for a reason. Let me ask you this. If your actions destroy someone's life where's the reason in that it's exactly how I do know what I did something awful and then I lied about it how does that mean and I was lying when I said we weren't equally yoked we're here we're all here as punishment. Oh boy, here we go again. Again, what the hell? We already did this part. No, right. not not hell. Just just a punishment. It's it's a reckoning. I may be damaged goods, but you qualify for a full refund. I don't know what that means. Talk like you used to care. How big you think this place is? You used to believe in something. Thirty by fifty cubits or something. What was it? The cubits include height. I gave us someone. I cannot buy one. Addicted. Yeah. Never know what you're addicted to until you're ready to strangle for it. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna give you your lighter back. Oh. 
But you have to answer one question first. Here's the catch. You have to tell me the truth. And I, I, can, I can tell if you're lying. Okay, go ahead. Okay, no, I'm not done yet. If you are lying, I get to give you a purple nurple. And no, and no, no platitudes. All right. I want your answer. Nothing right. you can crochet on a pillow. Okay. For the lighter. If God is real, taking that for granted, why would He even give us the option to be cruel? Be talking about free will. No, no, dude. No, no church answers. I will purple purple you so fast. <sighs> Seriously, man, what do you think? I don't know. That's it? That's it. All right. You're honest. I like that. But take a guess. It's free. Why would God give us the option to be cruel? Because deciding for ourselves is just that important. Yeah, I don't know what this is all about, or if it's about anything. But I do know it's not a reckoning. Yeah. Hey. Oh no. Oh no. Hold together. Hold it together. You feel like you need to be protected from your brain? It's the troublemaker. Knowledge is power, right? If the knowledge is of our own mortality, then the power against us is that same mortality. We all die. It's an enemy you can't beat. Unless there really is a heaven. Tell me about heaven. Like a Sunday school answer? Sure, whatever you're comfortable with. <clears throat> okay. Everything is good there. Everything. It has golden streets and grandparents. And basically, even more than you would deserve if you were perfect. Sorry, I just... Take your time. Um, heaven is... a little hard to believe. In a helmet. Stop passing out. <clears throat> you guys find no. he's gone.
You know where he is? You're still taking too, too much, much for granted, right? You're utterly useless, you know that? What about next? You know who? Yes. Who? Not you, I bet. Can you stop it? No. You are completely useless. I'm sorry. Mm. What did you do? What? Why are you here? The other two are unbelievers. I know my sins. But what about you? I don't think this is a punishment. Trying to figure out which is worse. Disappear into the unknown or be stuck here alone. Sure, this place is awful, but at least I know what this place is. Maybe it's just a matter of which is worse. Which of us is worse? Lynn, you can't be that sure of what this is. No offense, but you don't really know God like I do. Well, I guess I don't because I don't see him as a tormentor. He's not tormenting. He's just serving up what we deserve. Everything I know about God says just the opposite of that. Do me a favor. If I disappear God first... God doesn't exist to, to dish out punishment for our mistakes. If I disappear first... He's love. He's mercy. He's forgiveness. And how come no matter how much I beg and plead for forgiveness, he doesn't give it to me? Maybe he does. It's funny. Because I don't feel forgiven. It's because you won't forgive yourself. Lane, whatever it is, Whatever it is you're punishing yourself for, just let it go. Let it go. I'm so sorry. He knows something. coming for me. You don't know that. It's okay. I'm ready. What about you? Who are you? I'm in the dark. Now can you tell me what you know? Now isn't what you think. Where did they go? Nowhere. They just... just disappeared into nothing? No, not exactly. They didn't disappear because they were never here. They were never here. <laughs> I saw them. I was, I was talking to them. And don't you dare 
tell me that I'm taking too much for granted. What about you? Me? Not the way you think. I'm not really here. You're here. But here isn't what you think. Well, I, what is this place? Rin, this is all about you. They were all here because of you. You said they didn't exist. You're still taking too much for granted. They weren't men. They were representations. Representations? That word probably works best. <laughs> Just random, random. No, not random. You know them. I've never seen them before in my life. Yeah. They're all you. Maybe. You make a good team, bud. You've got the chocolate. Got the peanut butter. There was a fight with Maggie. You want to get out of here? That's why I came here. Hey, sweetie. I never meant to. There you go. Put these with my keys, will you? Should be back to pick them up later. Bye, sweetie. The bartender talks to me. She left. Went after her with no intention of telling the truth. What's going on, Ken? What's this about? Is she here? You shouldn't be here. Is she? Maggie! Hey. Maggie, hey. are you here? Ken. The call. We're to church today. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Let's so do a skip for the neighbors. your own husband or my voice on the phone. But my gang never acted on it. And I know that that would destroy us. She saw right through me. The irony is that I always love that about her. Seriously, do you think that I'm capable of doing something like that? Well, maybe it was just some mix-up. Maggie! I need you to leave me alone. Maggie, come on. Well, who was it that was on the phone? Well, give me a chance to get to the bottom of this, Maggie! Feeling weird for a few days. The thought of losing her was just too much. I made it to my car, barely. I want to see Dr. Benson after that. 
through your fear, Rip. Well, if there was a God, that kind of cruelty would definitely fit his M.O. When you die, it's over. There's no more you. You cease to exist. How come no matter how much I beg and plead for forgiveness, he doesn't give it to me? I don't believe those things. No, you don't. And yes, you do. You fear the unknown. They didn't look like me. They didn't look like anything. They could have all looked like you. Oh, my. This is impossible. I must be dreaming. What is it? But just as easily they don't. It's your mind's eye that perceives it, not your actual eye. That goes for everything. The barn. An amalgamation of scary, isolated places from your childhood. Your grandfather's barn. An attic. Something you saw on television. The objects within it, however, the triggers for what sets your mind against itself. You recognize what you allow yourself to recognize. So if all this is in my mind, where's your body? Where's my body? So what am I? I'm imagining all this. Oh no. It's just not physical. You're not hallucinating, Rin. Everything you've experienced is real. And I'm really here with you. Not God. I'm Clark. So, so if I faced all my fears, why am I still here? You faced the pieces, Ren, but not the whole. You're here for a very simple reason. You haven't walked out the front door yet. on your head and disregard the fear inside it. Your body is falling apart, Rin. It's up. But what's happening in that room right now is not the doorway. That aspect of death is not the threshold. That's the real doorway to the other side. Your body is ready to go. It's waiting on your soul to be bold. Could, it wouldn't be faith. Help me. Ask to find a moment, a time 
when you were so aware of God's reality that you felt you could have reached up and touched his hand. Find it and hold on to it. Come to get your things? Yeah. Are you back? Yeah. Why? This is my house. You're my husband. You shouldn't have come. You were right. I lied. I know. There was someone else. I know. She didn't mean anything, but... I know. And I know that you're sick. I don't feel great, but... I know, Ren. I know everything. I wish you would have told me. No, don't come over here. I know why you didn't. I should be alone right now. You're supposed to be mad. I am. I'm furious. No offense, but I've seen you furious in this. I'm mad. Trust me, I promise it's there. I want to squeeze your neck. I want to squeeze your neck. I've been working on a list, this, this long, very, very long list of all, the, of all the things I wanted to say to you and all the names that I wanted to call you. You hurt me, Red. But everything on that list just got bumped for one very important thing. I want to squeeze your neck. I'm not going to let you go through this without me. I'm so sorry. I know. For everything. I know. Pretty good. To love another person is to see the face of God.
Never falls away. 